Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome to Fanime Monday! So, today's topic is the top 5 badasses in anime in my opinion. Again, my opinion, not yours. If you guys want to say in the comment section who your top 5 badasses in anime is, go ahead, I don't mind. But these are my top 5. So the first, so number five, I would have to say is Kirito from Sword Art Online. And you guys are probably sitting there like, ah, oh, Phoenix, he's only in the video games. He's in the real world. He's like, oh god, I'm a wimpy little kid that can't fight the bully in high school because they'll steal all my lunch money. I know. But, you know, badass can go in different ways. For him, I have to say he's a badass because, A, not only is he a badass in the uh, gaming world, pretty much nobody can get him. He just like kicks everybody's ass, does the right thing, cool. But he goes back into the video game after he finally got out of it in a horrendous situation. I mean, think about it. Would you go back into a video game, into that video game world, if you knew that you just spent a couple of years, could die at any time? I, I don't know if I would, but he's like, my chick's in there, I have to go save her. I'm going in there, I'm gonna fight every bastard that's in my way. And then he does fight somebody in the real world. I mean, come on now, he, he's pretty much a bastard. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Sword Art Online. It's honestly good, not many people like the uh, second part of it, but I kind of liked it. It was alright. Um, so yeah, that's my number five, Kirito. Number four, Tatsuya from Mahoku, Kau, Mahoku Kokao no Retsui. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm not good with Japanese. Mahoku, Mahoka Kakao no Retsui. I'll put it down there so everybody can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. Um, pretty much in that anime, magic is real in the world, but you have to do different sequences, and you know you have to. It's, it's kind of like scientific anime, which I don't know was kind of a cool twist on magic for me. It was like you really have to use your brain power for it. Um, but Tetsuya doesn't have much magical power, but he's still a badass. He can think of every single fucking way to get around it and just like dominate anybody. And he always thinks of new ways to use new magic. And he's a badass. He is a legit badass. He literally just somebody was like, oh, I don't know if I want to spoil it. I'm going to do it anyways. There was this one kid named, like, the Crimson Prince, and he just started throwing, like, bombs and shit. It's not re real bombs, he can make the air explode. And Tetsuya just runs up, gets hit, and uses his magic to reconstruct his body in a matter of seconds. Comes up, snaps, right next to the guy's ear, amplifies it, and makes the guy knock out from the sound. Killing his own eardrums, but I mean, still badass and he does so much more he uses a pistol to snipe people from thousands of miles away you never fuck with somebody who can kill you from a different zip code it's not something you do so yeah number four for me is Tatsuya number three is a anime everybody should know Lord Death from Soul Eater that dude can control a whole fucking city as a mech not only that, he's Lord Death! How do you get past that? You can't! You can't! He's Death himself! He's got- not only does he, like, have 20 million little weapons running around for him, he also has a city full of badass mercenaries ready to kill anything he tells them to kill. Also, he, like I said, he can control a fucking city! He took the city and turned it into a goddamn mech! How do you beat somebody like that? Plus his reaper chop, but yeah, Pretty cool. I kinda like it. And, I, I don't know, it's... I don't know how you beat that. I don't know how you beat that. So, Lord Death has to be number three badass anime character. That would be in mine. Number two for me would be Sebastian from Kuroshitsuji or Black Butler. Um, everybody knows Sebastian, everybody knows Black Butler. Not season two was just horrendous, nobody liked it, but season one was amazing. Even in both seasons, Sebastian was a badass. Let me explain. Sebastian went up against angels, killed them. Reapers, beat them. Demons, beat the shit out of them. 
and then like 20 million other people tried coming after him. And not only that, he knows what the fuck he's doing no matter what he's doing. He can cook, clean, uh, fucking set, like, oh my god, he just do what you tell him to do something and he is amazing in it. I mean, anybody, go look at the new season of Black Butler, um, the Book of Circus or something like that, and it was amazing. I am loving it so far, and is really showing, like, the battle edge of Sebastian, and is, I, I can't wait to watch the rest of it. It is looking amazing, and, you know, Sebastian, number two badass, in my opinion. Now, you're probably wondering, who could beat Sebastian? Sebastian from Black Butler, Lord Death from Soul Eater, Kirito from Sword Island Online. This chick from Koro Wazambi Desuka. I don't know if I said that right. Again, I'll have all the titles in a little, like a little thing right here. <sighs> I don't know if I said it right, but it was Ickleywood Hellscythe. You're probably wondering who that is. Well, it's a necromancer chick from in Hell. And what she can do is pretty much whatever she says or thinks happens. She controls the world no matter what. So she's not, she's actually not allowed to talk because if she says something like, um, you're dead, guess what? That person dies. She says something like, world explodes, guess what? World explodes. If she says something like, um, you are now a red-headed baboon who scratches his ass all the time you're now a red-headed baboon that scratches his ass all the time no matter what she says happens so she has to be quiet all the time not only that if you got in a fight with her i'm pretty sure you'd still get your ass whooped because she could probably say hey i'm a badass motherfucker that knows taijutsu and if i touch you you die let's play a game of tag you lose Oh, by the way, I'm faster than Sonic, Flash, uh, Superman, and all of them put together. Ha, oh, Woody Woodpecker, you got... Not Woody Woodpecker, fucking... Meet me. You've got nothing on me, because I'm going to be amazing. And that is why, in my opinion, Hellsight is the number one badass you could ever see in an anime. Because I don't care how strong you are. Somebody who goes... Hey, guess what? You're an asshole. And they turn into an asshole. There's nothing that can beat it. I mean, you can even stop what she's saying. And if she thinks it, it still happens. That's why she's very careful at what she thinks, too. I mean, you can't beat something like that. So that's why, in my opinion, she is number one in the rank of top five badass. Again, if you guys think some other people are different you guys think that hey these aren't badasses these are whips compared to somebody else in the comment section below tell me your top five badasses also you can tell me on twitter or something i don't give a shit um and that concludes fanime monday next week i don't know what the topic's gonna be but hey uh the reason why we didn't have one last week was because i was trying to figure out a way to do like a new sort of intro for this and i still haven't figured it out um, but I want to do something badass because like I said, I like anime and um, I'm, I'm planning on having this going for a very long time. So, this is Phoenix1564 and I will see you guys next time.